for tuning into another episode of Take 10 on Tuesdays. I'm Jason Lutz. Today I left the office and it's another beautiful day in Nashville and I am at the offices of Nashville Community Education. Now this is a great place to go to learn all types of techniques, how to make things, and just get general knowledge available to community members in Nashville. And I'm actually with the director, Lovette Curry, today. Hello. Hello, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. So now first, did I get your title right? Yes, I'm executive director of Nashville Community Education. Okay. And um, let's just go a little background because I want people to know that this is available. What exactly does Nashville Community Education do? And um, what is your job around here? Nashville Community Education provides adult education and enrichment opportunities to the community at large. So we have over 170 classes and a variety of topics ranging from work skills and professional development to hobbies and crafts, music, languages, technology, anything that people could be interested in. We're a one-stop shop for people to come and learn about anything new. Wow. Well, first, you said that a lot better than I did. <laughs> but second, it does sound very exciting that this is even out there. And um, how did you become involved in this? I moved here from Los Angeles, California. I'm a Nashville native, and I grew up here. And I went away to school and did some other things and worked in education in Los Angeles. And when I was looking to move back and be close to my family, this opportunity really spoke to me because it was still in the realm of education and offering good opportunities for the community as a whole, for people who may not normally have access to things like this, to be able to provide that access for people, to be able to learn something new, to get a new skill that could help them get a better job or start a career. Uh, so it just was a great opportunity for me to be able to combine all of my interests. That's great. And how did the uh, city um, come up with this? And or, actually first, let's backtrack, is this a city um, or a state? Um, agency or how does that work? So National Community Education is a city department. We are funded by taxpayer dollars from Metropolitan Davidson County. Okay, so it's backed by the city, but some of the courses still have small fees attached? Yes, so a lot of the courses still have fees because the class fees go to cover basically the expense of the instructor and kind of the class cost itself. But the city helps to subsidize all the administrative costs. So gotcha. like the salaries of the full-time employees and benefits, the city subsidizes those costs. And then the students, all they have to pay for is the class itself, which is why we're able to be under market rate and so affordable. Gotcha, okay. So the city takes care of the administrative stuff mm -hmm. so it can run, and then the other fees go towards um, the actual courses themselves. Right. Okay, so let's talk about some of the courses. Um, now, there's a catalog available that, and I was looking through it, and there's some really cool ones. One that jumped out to me was fencing. Mm -hmm. So, what are some other cool stuff that, that's available? So, the fencing class is really popular, and people love it, and it's sponsored by a local fencing group here in Nashville. So, we're one of the few places, I think, within 30 or 40 miles wow. that offers fencing. And you don't have to bring any equipment. Everything is provided here for you. So it's a way to kind of learn something and get your feet wet without the super expense, because that's an expensive sport yeah, yeah. to get into. Uh, we have other really fun classes like wire wrap jewelry or uh, handmade soaps, a couponing class. We have all the classes around the Microsoft Office Suite, so Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Uh, grant writing is really popular. Creative grant writing. writing. Creative writing? Yeah, we have a creative writing class. Was there a book publishing one? Yep, how to publish your own book. And he not wow. only talks about like print books, but he also talks about uh, ebooks and how to get published online and new media ways to get out there. So it's really kind of a forward thinking course around See, being self published author. That's great. Now, if you got an idea out there you want to get out to the world, ebook or print, so you can come here for a a low, low fee and, and, and learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. What about, um, was there anything I saw related with food? Did I see something about? Yeah, we have a raw foods class and we now have two levels of raw foods. Level one, which is beginner, and then she gives more advanced techniques in the level two class. And she talks about all kinds of things like how to make your own almond milk to oh. smoothies and just 
explaining what the raw food is about. And she's actually the raw food chef at a local restaurant here in town, The Wild Cow, in East Nashville. I heard about so that she place. does the, their raw foods there at their establishment. So you're pulling in a lot of, a lot of the great talent that's in this city. We try to reach out to people who have something interesting, a hobby, a passion, their career, that they want to share with other people. It's really a community service. Because our classes are so affordable and because part of our mission is to give more people access to this mm -hmm. information, you know, it's not sort of a, a part-time opportunity. It's not like being an adjunct professor yes. or something like that. You really have to look at it as a community service. But since Nashville is really a city of dreamers, yes. people come here to, you know, be in a band, to write songs, to write books, to start a new career. People have a lot that they want to share. And yes. they have a lot of things that they're passionate about or a hobby that they really love, that they want to share with other people. And yes. so we try to provide people an outlet to do that through us. Yes, yes. I love how you said that about uh, Nashville. Now, normally when we um, interview people on Take 10, I do like to ask them how they feel about Nashville and its growth. Um, the fact that you were gone for a while, mm -hmm. you have the experience that someone seen it at where it once was, and you kind of have that transplant vision too, because you, and you came from a huge market. LA. So I was just curious, how do you feel about the growth that we're seeing in Nashville with business, with restaurants, nightlife, I mean just everything that's going on, art, culture? I've been really excited about everything that I've seen in Nashville. It took me a minute to understand everything because mm -hmm. I would go places and like, what happened here? When did this get here? <laughs> yeah. When I first came back and went to Five Points, for example, I was like, when did all of this happen? When I left, none of this was was here and it was like this whole new interesting sort of place and that's happening in a lot of neighborhoods uh, in Nashville so it's been really exciting to see it's exciting to see that Nashville is becoming a place that people talk about yes. a place where you can go and start a new business and because it's still up and coming there's still a lot of opportunity here especially for young professionals to be able to get their foot in the door and kind of make their mark in a city that's growing, yes. which you don't have in a lot of big cities. So it's been really great to see that. And uh, I live in Antioch, and so I've been working really closely with CNAB and some of the work that they're trying to do around Antioch to rebuild and rebrand yes. that community so yes. that we can be a part of and a participant in partners in the growth that yes. other parts of Nashville are having. Um, another thing that I really like is uh, when you mentioned neighborhoods, I love how like East Nashville has their own flavor, then like 12 South and Hillsborough Village, and then the Gulch. I mean, I just love the way, I just, I just love the energy in this city right now. It's a lot of exciting energy around all the new things that are happening here and people who are moving here, finding out that it's not what they thought it was, yes. that it's not just country music, that it's not you know, just a super old southern quaint town that yes. we're, we're a new southern city, so we still have all the southern charm and all the love and warmth that people enjoy about living in the south, but that we have all of the culture and the restaurants, the food scene is just starting to grow amazingly, uh, cool, that yeah. we get great art and great music and culture, it all comes to Nashville mm -hmm. and that there's a market here for it and so it's just been really exciting to see. Yes, I agree. And I guess that makes perfect sense to have Nashville community education here because you can bring what's great to Nashville to our community. Yeah, and Nashville, I mean, we have, I think it's something like over 20 higher education institutions yes, in know. the city. So people move here for higher education, and they don't stop being learners when they get out of college right. or when they go to work. Mm -hmm. So they still need a place where adults can come and learn something new, refresh themselves, get in a community of like-minded people, which right. is learning a hobby. So it's just a great city to have something like this. That's right, that's right. Well, before I let you go, um, if you can tell our audience how they can reach out and find um, the great courses you have available. Nashville Community Education, all of our information is online, so you can visit us at www.nashville.gov slash CE, or you can call our office at 615-298-8050 and get all the information about our classes. All right, great. Well, I just want to thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Keep doing what you're doing here, helping people learn really cool stuff. Um, I'm just excited that you're here in Nashville and that we can play a part of the Tribune to let people know about
about the great stuff you have. Thank you again. We just appreciate you coming to learn more about us. Definitely. Thanks. And once again, thank you for tuning in to Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune. See you next time.